Good morning. So my morning routine, <laughs> it's it's pretty chaotic. You know, I looked down at my wrist and I noticed the watch isn't there. Samsung versus Garmin. I decided to charge the venue, not the venue, the Instinct Solar, but luckily I have this one paired to the same account. So I'll just strap that on while it charges so I don't lose any health metrics because if you didn't log it, it didn't happen. So sleeping with a Garmin and a Samsung, very different because the Instinct Solar, the first gen, that's almost four years old now, it doesn't show the sleep. Uh, they never made an updated widget or maybe uh, I'll check one more time, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So let's flip. Sorry about the camera hanging right there. My microphone's around somewhere, I'm, I'm in a rush. Anyway, uh, let's review the sleep and we'll see how the watches do today. I'm gonna do one more day with these older watches. Actually, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro goes back to Samsung today or tomorrow because I traded in for the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Man, those are really long names. Anyway, but that's being tested by my friend Ryan, who you'll see soon, because I'm gonna interview him about the watch. He has the Galaxy Watch 3 or the Galaxy, he has an older Galaxy, so it's gonna be a great story. Stay tuned. Okay, let's look at sleep. Hey puppy, can you go outside? Here they are, sunbathing. Wait, we don't want to disturb that dog, do we, puppy? No, no, we don't. Let's go back down to the studio. This question has come up a lot. You know, do I ever get tired of wearing all these watches? I, I don't get tired of wearing two at a time, but when I have them strapped around my ankle and stuff, and the rings, wearing four rings has become a bit taxing. I can't wait for the year to end, and then I can finish my two-year study. Okay, uh, yes, I wore this one last night. So this is part of the morning routine. This is the Phoenix 7X Pro Sapphire Solar. It's it's a beast. So we get the morning report, very lovely. Ooh, plenty, plenty of deep, I'll take it. 82 sleep score. Unbalance, thanks. Train readiness, low, listen to your body. And today's suggestion, rest and the weather. 239 intensity minutes, that's all from yesterday. 200 day streak, thanks. Believe in yourself, I'll try Garmin. And then that's it. So let's look at the solar activity for today. Give it a little bath over the last little bit. A eh, little bit of juice, a little bit. But of course it doesn't do much on this one. And then this one was only out for about 20 minutes or so. Did it go up? It was at 58 per, oh, no, 57. Oh, it went up 1%. That's awesome. Yay. This one, even though it's so old, charges so much faster. So if we scroll down, is the sleep under my day? No. There's my SBO2 from two hours ago. Almost positive they did not add a sleep widget. There's measuring my stretch, the temperature outside, altitude, rear widget, add widget. Last sport, run, swim, calories, intensity, music, sunrise, sunset, ABC, barometer, compass, dog track, verbo, in reach. Nope, sleep is not there. So we just synchronize it and then it shows up in the app. Meanwhile, Samsung, yes, I, I would agree that this is not a fair comparison, but someone asked me to do it, so why not? So there we have the bedtime. So it stays in bedtime mode until you manually turn it off or until it goes into a certain time. And it looks like it just turned off. So now if we take it out of airplane mode, whenever a watch has airplane mode, I highly recommend using it at night because sleep is precious. We don't want a bunch of alarms going off during our video. But you don't have to sync it to see the full sleep. It gives you a nice summary of the sleep. There we go, seven hours and 25 minutes. And then it just gives you basic info. And then to see the full details, you have to synchronize it to the phone that I'm filming on. Actually, wait, no, that's right. This is synchronized to this one. And here's the funny thing. 
this is a Samsung watch. I don't recommend pairing it <laughs> to a OnePlus phone. It, it does work, but it took almost an extra four minutes of just waiting before the two fully talk together. So there's my sleep, seven hours and 25 minutes. All right, sleep score, excellent, 86. A little better than the Phoenix there. We have a total sleep time, physical recovery, mental recovery, my sleep stages, very, very detailed. And yes, this watch, even though it's paired to this one, will track my naps. That's very nice. And then it wants me to wear it for seven days before it learns who I truly am. And then the Instinct Solar. Where's my sleep data? Stress, heart, body battery. Ah, showed up on the calendar. Sleep score, negative one of 100. <laughs> okay, so this one doesn't really track sleep scores, but hey, sleep score factors. Let's, let's read those. Sleep time. We have heart rate, body battery, resting heart rate, average SpO2. All right. It appears that this one kind of different. All right. So there's the body battery, pulse OX, but a, a negative one. Ouch. That, that hurts. That's weird that it's not really showing it. It shows it here on the calendar, but not in the main screen. I went to edit my day and it's supposed to be showing, supposed to, but because this is an older watch, I guess, yeah. And it says my pulse OX was 92. That's not that great. How's my heart rate? Eh, 61, not bad. And then resting heart rate, 77. That's strange. Oh, 52 to 105. Well, that's good. And yesterday, 46 to 178. And then we have the cycling yesterday. We have five, wow, look at all. We have the map, we have the heart rate zones. We have all those details. Pretty good, right? Pretty good, I'll let you pause and read those. So we'll look at the same workout. We have the map, longest ride, I can add a note. Total time, total ascent, add a self-evaluation. This is always fun. Actually, you know, I felt strong and honestly, because it was a longer ride, I would say it was extremely hard. I thought I was gonna have to call my wife and have her come pick me up, which would not be the first time. So we have the stats. Wow, we have the laps, we have the charts, we have the gear, which is my track, and I can I can connect that. This is actually my secondary account, Cuneo Milano. Yeah, I know, kind of weird. But when you have more than one Garmin, it's helpful to have more than one account. There you go, that's my morning routine. And then I also, of course, look at my rings. So we'll just look at two of them, well, three of them. So here's the Aura Silver one on my thumb, sleep score 87, resting heart rate 59. All right, so all the sleep scores are somewhat coinciding, except for the negative one from the Instinct Solar. The Ultra Human Ring, it gave me a sleep index of 83. Yep, thanks for my movement index. And then click on that, sleep efficiency, temperature, HR drop, oxygen 99. Oh, it's in beta, that means don't fully trust it. Yesterday I thought I did cycling at eight in the morning. Uh, no. So the Oura rings actually automatically detect workouts. So I have to go in here and they don't have doing dishes. Normally when I do dishes, it thinks I'm either cycling or rowing. So sleep score 81. So a solid B for my sleep. And this one tracking sleep is just okay. And still, even if you buy the Garmin Phoenix Pro, 7X Pro or 7 Pro or the Epix 2 Pro or the Enduro 2, Garmin is still not tracking naps, and that is disappointing. I'm sorry, but I think we're done. I'm not gonna wear this one today <laughs> because, well, it's, I can't. I need to finish testing this one before it goes back. And I also need to test the Coros, so. But all in all, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is definitely more of a smart watch. And even though this is an older instinct, one of the original ones, because Garmin wants to compete with Casio G-Shock. This is gonna give you a really smart analysis of your sports. Samsung, pretty good. They need a freaking lap button. You can program it to auto lap, but that's it. The battery life, you know, at most three days, as you saw with the battery. This one, it's infinity battery, honestly. If I quickly put it into battery saver mode, which the Samsung also has, see, infinity. It's gonna last forever if I continue to get 
a good hour or so of sunlight a day. This one you're charging at least every other day. But it is cool. I mean, I can put it into Do Not Disturb. Because this is a Samsung watch and this is a OnePlus one, the two don't talk to each other. So when I put this into sleep mode, this phone doesn't go into sleep mode. So it's a lot of extra clicking. If you're gonna buy a Samsung watch, it's highly recommended that you buy a Samsung phone or maybe you already have a Samsung phone, but you can automatically program that. It's fun. I don't recommend this one. Get the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic or just save up and or wait for Christmas and hopefully Santa will bring you the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic because they have the bezel. This haptic bezel thing is for the birds. I'm glad I'm saying this back. That's it, that's my routine. And then I also log, and then I also spend uh, about four minutes a day logging which watches I wore to bed because it's fun for me, it's therapeutic. And this is the Remarkable 2 e-tablet, the world's thinnest tablet. All right, oh, you know, you're gonna ask me which watch face is this? This is just a stock one that came with the phone. So we have to go to the Wear app. I always get these questions and I have to answer them in text. So if we go to Watch Faces, yeah, it doesn't even say. Oh, this is the Pro Analog one. Favorite thing about these Watch Faces is that they do a ticking noise. So if you turn on the volume, put it in airplane mode so we don't get a loud notification. Quiet on set. Mm. Oh, it also does hourly chimes. Many thanks to Got a Geek for <laughs> inspiring or requesting that video. <laughs> it was it was fun. The Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. I need to wear it again anyway, just for kicks and giggles. And the watches I'm going to be wearing today are the Phoenix 7X Pro and the Coros Pace 3. Not because I'm doing a comparison video, because I like both ecosystems. They're fun. And this Pace 3, honestly, I'd recommend going with the Coros Pace 3 over either the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, because the battery life is horrible and it's just kind of laggy. And this Instinct Solar, well, that's a tough one, because I don't know if you can buy these new. If you can, if you can afford the Instinct 2X Solar, the Flame in Red. It's a great watch, but as far as just a, a great weekend warrior and your first, you know, just kind of dipping your toes into getting these analytics about your body, the Coros Pace 3 for 230 bucks is a really great deal, really great deal. Where this is gonna run you 400 to 450, so. This one used on eBay, maybe a hundred, but it is, I mean, you're buying four-year-old tech. The sensor is not nearly as good as this one that comes on the 2X, because this one came out in 2023, 2023, 2023, either 2019 or 2020. Thanks for watching. And then again, got a geek. Thanks for uh, the video idea. I hope I answered all your questions. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking on by, and I hope you're able to run farther to go further in life today. And yes, let the credits roll from the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.